now we now we will install the jquery in our project so now here if we try to see into this uh, where is the jquery website gone yeah so this is our jquery and i am going to the download and here this is the first option which we can see download the uh, download the website so which we have seen it the downloading the library and the second one we have seen the downloading the jquery using npm or yeah so before learning about this one so we need to learn about this npm thing so what is this one so npm is a what i can say is it's a package manager so which manages your dependency so every programming language has their own dependency manager so like dotnet has a new nuget package php has a composer package ruby has a gem package and uh, like this so for javascript also we have a package manager but that is nothing but a npm it is called as a node package manager so if you try to open this uh, npm it is called as an artifact repository so that is a different thing so we will not go be, uh, deep into this one so this is the place where you can manage your all dependencies so you can manage your all packages what i can say is you, your packages for example if you want to uh, get angular means angular is a library so you can get here angular directly so this is angular material this is angular cla angular so these are all the packages which you can use this is the core framework okay so these are all the different things routing if you want means you can use this angular routing so like this all the packages in the javascript frontend framework you will be able to find it so we can find almost all the things so including the back end including the frontend so all the things are available this is the this is the most widely used of the package manager around so among all the package managers this is the most widely used npm is the most famous one so this is the number one so we will be using uh, all the people will be using the npm package manager only so th this is the package manager which we will be using so we will be having another package manager like composer so like this we will be having so this is the which one we will be using for the php so this is the dependency manager for php so like this we will be having a new get so like this so these are all used uh, used only for the management of the packages so this is the dotnet apps for this you get package we will be having so out of this one all npm is the most famous one almost all the people around the world they know about this npm package if uh, some people may not know about this composer some people may not know about this new gate these all things but npm package is the most common thing which will be used by all the people so this is the traditional package manager for the javascript so how we can uh, install the jquery using this npm package manager let's try to see so for example let's say that i want to install the jquery in my application so i can use the jquery here i can search for the jquery okay here you will be able to see the jquery so you can search you can see so what are the different types so here this is the exact match i can open this jquery and here they will be having some little bit of interaction so how we can use it so this one we have already used it so this is our babel thing these are all those things so using this or all this this is using the required js and all those things common js implementation so this is the amd version <coughs> and these are all the things okay fine this is the normal module import and this is a require import and these are the different thing different ways of importing <coughs> so now in, in for installing this jquery first you need to have node.js installed into your system so this one also has a typescript declaration file also that's not a problem so now here for installing this one we need to have the node.js installed in your system so this is the node.js you can install the lts version 16.18.0 you can use this lts version and you can download it this one and you can download it after downloading this one you can check it in the command prompt whether node.js is installed or not so you can check it using the like this node space hyphen v okay 16.17.0 so this is the version which i will be which i am having so fine <coughs> so now so now 16.18.0 is the latest one so now after installing the node.js automatically npm also will be installed in your system so when you install the node.js npm also will be installed 8 or something like that i don't remember exactly npm will be having the version it's taking so much of time so npm also will be installed in your system where is this one gone yeah 8.15.0 okay i don't know so i have that much time it took for getting the version so now you can check like this so when the uh, if you want if you are not get able to install this one using node package manager means you you need to install the node 
so when you check here with this node hyphen v then node will be installed npm hyphen v means then the npm version also will be coming then the node is successfully installed in your system so that is one thing now after installing this one so after installing the node and all the things now now we can install this one so here you'll be able to see this one right in the command npm i jquery so this is the command for installing the jquery so when i go into this project so this is our project i am removing this jquery so right now we don't have any usage of this one i am also removing this jquery not a problem we'll use 3.6.1 okay fine so i am going into the command prompt here so that you can have it here visible so now here in the jquery okay now what i want to do is i want to install this command right or otherwise i will open it in the command prompt here. So the command what we have seen is npm install. Okay, we can also use the shortcut i also. So but the full form is install, and the name of this one is jQuery. So when I click on this uh, enter, so it will take some time to install the jQuery. So it will install the jQuery. So it is trying to get all the things from the artifact repository. So we have added one package here. You will be able to see that added one package. So audited two packages and all those things. So we have seen it. So now the jquery has been successfully installed where it has installed let's try to see it. so now we are able to see one package here so before installing this one i want to tell you another thing also forgot to tell you let's remove this one all just delete it yeah so i have deleted it right so first of all what we need to do is directly i am going to this one let's try to open it here yeah it's my mistake only let's go on first onwards so now here we are having it right so now this is our jquery so we are learning about the we are creating a jquery project first while installing the package first we need we need to initialize the package npm we need okay it will ask you some series of questions we have already seen these things but i am trying to tell you so the package name is that is that the application name which you are trying to develop so the versions and all the things you can try to press enter so that it will take the default values and now if i press enter so now here a package.json file will be created so here if you try to observe a package.json file is being created so this is the json file so the json file means nothing but it's the object notation right? so you'll be having just like in javascript object notation you'll be having it will be having key value pairs like this now it will be having some series of so now whatever the whatever the packages or uh, packages you are installing here so this will have the all the this will note all the packages which you are trying to install it for example let's say that i will try to install the package npm install jquery so i have installed this jquery package let, let it install so now it has installed the jquery package right so now when it install the jquery package so here you'll be able to see the dependencies so here the dependencies means this application is dependent on this jquery now here you'll be able to see a node modules folder automatically it is created when you install anything automatically node modules folder will be created inside this folder you'll be having all the dependencies here so we have installed the pack uh, jquery so this is the jquery and in this list you will be having the jquery.js file so this is the jquery.js file now tomorrow if you want to so this is the version it is trying to install it it has installed now if you change the version automatically that that version will be installed in the node modules so here you can you can access this jquery.js in the main.html so this way we can manage your dependencies so this is a dependency we can manage the dependencies versions using this npm package manager so now there is no need for us so for example if i try to remove this one somehow i have lost this node modules okay now i don't know what are the packages installed in this application so now package.json has a reference here this package needs a jquery tomorrow you can have so many things here comma oriented thing you can have so many things now what i can do is for this application i don't know what are the packages installed so now there is no need for me to install jquery one by one there is no need for me to install the packages just i can write npm install that's it so now it will try to read from the package manager and it it will read this package manager okay package.json file and it will see the dependencies thing okay this application needs the jquery automatically it will create a node modules and jquery will be installed automatically so this is the benefit of this package.json file so now there is no need for us to commit this one to the github repository and all the things only the application which is also only your code you can only commit these all things there is no need for us to commit this library for uh, this node modules folder 
so some other developers who want to use these all things means directly they can type the command npm install so that whatever the dependencies that are not installed in their system automatically it will be installed so this is the benefit of this node package manager so this is the widely used one which we will be using most commonly for maintaining the different packages in the javascript we will try to use it 